Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and uh, as the pandemic starts to wind down, we are in steps slowly, let's say, opening things up here at St. Anne Catholic Church and uh, our missions as well. So one thing that has been um, wanted by lots of people, of course, our baptismal font, and it has not been allowed to be used. Today I talked to the Archbishop, and it's a discretion of the pastor, uh, depending on their situation, to do so. Our baptismal font, as you can see here, is empty, and it's been empty for a whole year. This baptismal font it has multiple ways of, let's say, purifying the water. First goes through a regular filter that you would see like in a, a hot tub. Uh, it goes also through a UV filter, and there's a bromine or uh, chlorine, is it chlorine? Bromine, you know, some chemical, uh, very small, uh, so you don't smell the church, uh, disinfectant, as well as actually some magnets that help, I guess, soften the water. I'm not sure about how well that works. But what we're gonna do here, Stephen, way over here, he's way over there. Yep, we're gonna turn this on for the first time in a year. So uh, we have a little port over here. Can you see it? Let's see, here we go. Uh, I think it has a, um, do we have to close the valve? Is that right? And turn it on. Okay, it so there it goes. Let's see here. There is the first wire. It's coming in here. And I want you to think about this. We're starting to come out of the pandemic. And this pandemic has been horrible for many people, and many people have died. And many people have lost jobs, many people have lost loved ones. And what we need is a new birth, a rebirth. And guess what baptism helps symbolize? A rebirth. Christ was baptized in the Jordan, and we as Christians, Catholic Christians in particular, we baptize our children in baptismal fonts. Well, maybe not as advanced and as big as this, but certainly so they can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, be cleansed of their sins, and be joined and grafted onto Christ, and be part of his, his bride, his church. And here we are, we are now going to start this up. If you come to Mass then, starting tomorrow, especially this weekend, you will find that this baptismal font is full. And we are full of faith ourselves, and I hope that you will find that you come to church again. I wanna encourage you to come back to church if you haven't done so. And of course, you know, if you are in a situation where you feel you need to wear a mask, please do so. We have uh, situations here at the church, I'm gonna come around here, where you can sit wherever you want, as you can see here. Uh, on this side where we have some pews that are marked up, every other pew, just for folks that want some extra distancing, you can choose that. We also have our day chapel over here, and there's pews that are, um, or chairs that are actually separated out. And uh, those are options for you as well. So I just wanna encourage you, we're gonna, uh, Fill this up, and I'll uh, come right back in a second. Okay, so here we are now. The baptismal font is full. As you can see, there you go. The baptismal font is full. It has yet to be blessed. Something also to note is right here, the Easter candle. We put that at the base where the, it's supposed to be near the baptismal font. This Easter candle is used at the Easter vigil to help bless the font when it's done at that ceremony. We're going to do something more extemporaneous today. Um, but that's always there for baptisms. In, in the future now, we'll be able to start doing baptisms. Uh, our baptismal font has pillars over here and on this side here where we can have a family gather around and have then a baptism and they can come in there. There's water flowing quietly over the edges here. And it's hard to see, but this is actually the shape of a cross. You can kind of see it there. And it's actually the shape of our Jerusalem cross, which we find on some of our windows. So like over here... You see the window of Jerusalem cross right there. So, so let's bless the water. Heavenly Father, I ask that you pour your Holy Spirit upon this water, that those who use it for blessing themselves when they come to church or blessing their families or blessing their homes would be reminded of your protection, be reminded of their own baptism, and reminder that they are reborn because of their baptism. May their faith be renewed every time they come here. May they be born again every time they come by reminding themselves of that one baptism and renew it once again. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, folks, there we have our blessed water. I hope when you come to church today or this weekend uh, that you will be uh, able to dip your hand here and come in and dip your hand in and do the sign of the cross and know that... Uh, no, things are coming back to normal here. 
And uh, as we are being kind of reborn in our country, in our area, here is the church. Let this once again be a sign of renewal and refreshment and being reborn. Of course, that's reborn in Christ. God bless you. Bye-bye.